Right, you're going to help me with the digestion bit. Yeah. So what you're going to do is, if you actually stop, yeah, <laughs> go. Right, the good fire. The yellow go. Okay, right. So what we're going to do is, we, we've been talking about digestion, okay, through the whole lesson. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to run through the process with you. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to add some biscuits in there. So some biscuits in there, okay. And then what you're going to do with your teeth? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Right, so your teeth are going to start mashing up the biscuits. Right, as it's mashing up the biscuits, what's also, so what's happening in there then, please? Saliva. Okay, so what we've got here is your saliva. So what type of enzyme? Is that what saliva. So not only saliva, what else is added into this? Enzymes. What enzyme? Uh, uh, spit enzyme. Spit enzyme. <laughs> Say amylase. Amylase. amylase, well done, right, so we're going to add, add a little bit of an enzyme in there, which is your amylase, salivary enzyme. So we get enzyme. Oh, no. Second thing that I'm going to do, <laughs> give a sandwich, okay, and bread in there, again, again, now, with your teeth, with your teeth is this, your front teeth, okay, are going to start cutting it up, Okay, so the Okay, right, so front teeth is breaking it up and then what you've got is you've got your masher up or your masher mashing it up. Then you have a little bit of porridge. Why do you eat so much? Now This is how you eat, this is how you eat. Everything gets down. Okay, right, next thing. I'm having, a, I'm having a dessert. So I'm having a banana, and again, I'm going to start eating the banana as well. You want some? It's not enough to go around. So, your contents are there. Can you see that there? Okay. So, you start eating and start mashing that up. Now, I need some water. I'm feeling thirsty. So I'm going to add a little bit of water. Now, some of you might drink out of this, but I wouldn't. Because I'm thirsty. So, what's happened now is this you've got your different foods in there, you've got your banana, your bread, your biscuits. Your oats, okay, everything's in there. I've got my amylase in there, and I've also had a little bit of water to drink as well. So that has become a paste. Now, what happens with that now is this: it's going to go down something called the esophagus. What's the technique? So, what's the technique used that the esophagus uses to take the food down? What? So, what's the process called? So, what's the technique called? There's some acid in your stomach. No, it's not the answer. We don't want to the stomach yet. Where's this? It grips it. Yeah, so what's it called? A slide. <laughs> it's called your esophagus. Has anybody heard of the word, a term called peristalsis? No. I mentioned that to you last time. So it's like a muscular contraction, which actually, it actually goes down the esophagus pipe using peristalsis. How big is your esophagus? Everyone's different. <laughs> right, now. <laughs> right, so, esophagus. <laughs> right, tell me esophagus. Where's the glove? Where's the glove? Can you give me that glove? So I'm using my hand. Oh my God. Right, so <laughs> peristalsis moving down. Look. Moving down. Okay. Can you see it? Now, where does that go next? Okay, so we're going to look at the in a minute. Hold on, wait. So it's going to go down in there. Right. <laughs> Okay, right. Goes into the stomach next, okay? So, as it goes into the stomach, 
Right, so, gone into the stomach. Now, what happens in the stomach now? The acid, protein. Right, now, think about this. The enzyme that we have, okay, is protease. So what does protease break down? So that's that enzyme is released in the stomach. Yeah? So you've got your protease, which is released in the stomach. So if I add a bit of protease in there. Is that really protease? It's not really protein, but it's, it's demonstrated. <laughs> right, so protease in there. Okay. What else? So now the stomach muscles are actually breaking this down. So now they are breaking this down. Now, what else has been out? What else is going to add? Yeah, right now. Mountain Where tissue. is bile? Mountain Where is bile made? Liver. Liver. Where is bile stored? In the liver. So it's made in the liver. Where is bile stored? Thank you very much. Okay, and what does the bile do to? What does the bile do to the stock to, to the food in the stomach? Acidifies it. What did you say? Acidifies it. The, the hydrochloric acid in your stomach is working. What does bile do to that? Makes it neutral. Thank you. It neutralizes it as well as it actually helps with digestion as well. So I'm going to add in that in there. Okay. So the bile goes in. Okay, now the bile, your protease, and the stomach muscles are actually crushing this up. Right, now, you can see the. You're not stressing me out, that's why. Right, wow. next thing, what happens next? It goes into the, um, how do you feel that? The rectum, the A, the... No, what's next bit, please? So from the stomach, where does it go into? Okay, you've got something on the small side. What does it say on there, please, for me? Put the contents of the bag into the tights with a little boy. Okay, right, now, it's going to go into the tights now. This is going to be interesting. So what do tights represent, please? No, the small intestine. No, the... No, the... Right, let's have a look now. Bro, that's fully got in. Why is the whole stomach fully got in? The whole stomach's got in. Fully got in. It's a failed practice. Oh my gosh! That's what it is. So, now what's happening here is. Your contents of all your stomach are ending up from your stomach into your small intestine. Why does it go through so much? Right, now, this is the interesting bit, your small intestines are interesting. Right, let's leave that there. Now, what do we have in our small intestines and what does it actually do? Go on in. It takes a nutrient out. It makes it. It lets the. It, oh, don't! Oh. <laughs> Go on. Wait, it makes it go everywhere. What does it do? Go on, hurry up. That looks like a worm. looks like a worm. Right, now, can you see all the nutrients no. now? I'm going to use. something called. I would say you've got a cloth. So what you've got is, guys, it's not. This is a cloth. What happens in your small intestines? You've got something called villi in there, and villi absorbs all the nutrients. So imagine this is representing the villi. It's got loads of little projections. Okay, and what I'm doing now with this is. If you look, look, fine. Okay, so the villi is actually absorbing all the nutrients. Where do the nutrients go into, please? The blood. The bloodstream. Okay, well done. So the villi is absorbing all of that into the bloodstream. 
Now, where happens next, please? It goes out and out. Right, now, so this is my small intestines, and I'm going to imagine this here is my large intestines after that. So it pushes down into to your large intestines. Now, what happens in the large intestines now? It goes to the rectum. It takes the Yes, it takes the moisture out now again. The large intestines, look, the large intestines is taking all the water. Okay. It's taking all She's crying. She's actually crying a lot. Right? Where does it go from there? From large intestines, where does it go? To the rectus. Right, this bit here, what is that? What's the next bit? Bum. Not the bum. The rectum. The anus. The rectum. The, anus. the rectum. The rectum is a mus muscle. So it's a muscle. Okay? And it, it basically contracts and relaxes. So when the rectum or the, the actual contents reach to re the rectum, what's the next process, please? It's the bowel movement. Okay? So. No, 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 no. Right. No, then you want to run to the toilet. Yeah. And then. He's <laughs> <laughs> actually constipated. No. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hold on, listen to it. Ready? And then when you look at the toilet before you flush it. Yeah. Yeah. And then you've got that there again. The remaining. <laughs> and that is your digestion.